Not a dot of DIY network coming in with a Tiki Torch wine bottle driftwood setup. I think you want to know how to make it, and we're going to walk you through it. So, we found the mom here. <laughs> we found the driftwood actually on the beach. Um, this driftwood came from Ocean Park, Washington, but you can find driftwood anywhere, I'm sure. Just go out and about. Or as my kids like to call it, giftwood. Giftwood. They're constantly finding Omi giftwood, which I think is really super fun. Um, and then let's go ahead and set this one aside and let's build one from yeah, scratch. Yeah, we're going to build one. So here's a piece of giftwood. All right. We thought it had an interesting shape. So I really did like the shape, but let's talk about how we cut this hole in here. So that is simply done with um, a hole saw. So we use a three inch hole saw blade um, because that fits most wine bottles. Um, and you can pick up a three inch hole saw blade from any hardware store. And it just goes right on your drill. You don't need a drill press or anything like that. Just put it on your drill and it just makes a perfect hole that perfectly fits. This is a Riesling bottle that we have. So her all bottled up business is a recycled arts, um, really prominent. So this is gonna be a recycled Riesling bottle that we have in the shop. That we have in the shop, yep. Um, but you can use your favorite wine bottle, clear one, green one, blue one, what have you. I just happen to have a lot of cobalt blue ones. And then um, this bottle just fits right into that hole. Look at that, this is perfect, perfect fit. Um, and then all the other things that we need, this is a three quarter by three quarter uh, coupling. plumbing coupling, and it just fits perfectly <laughs> in the neck of the bottle. Um, and this is a, a tiki, wick. tiki wick, just it a tiki torch tiki wick. Brand. Tiki brand, and you can get those at any hardware store as well. And these are in the Tiki Torch section, um, just where you buy replacement parts, and they're about a dollar a piece. I'm gonna show you the coupling bags here too. Shark by three quarter by three quarter inch coupling, straight coupling. So the Tiki wick just fits right into the coupling, and that all fits right nicely into the bottle. Um, and then a couple things on these uh, I like to fill them about halfway up, and I don't know if you can get that up there to see. You can kind of see the color <laughs> change in there, but there's a ha it's about half filled with, this is um, crushed glass. Crush glass yeah. So I put crushed glass in there. You don't have to use crushed glass. Again, I'm a glass artist, so I just have a ton of scrap glass laying around, so I just use what I have. You could fill it about half full with sand or gravel or pretty rocks or whatever you can fit into the neck. But the point is, is that you want to fill it up about halfway because one, wine bottles are pretty tall and so the wick isn't going to reach all the way to the bottom, right? So that's one problem. And the second problem is that's a lot of lamp oil. It is. So we don't want to be wasting lamp oil. So we just want to fill it up about halfway with some rocks and that way um, when we pour the oil in there, the wick will reach the bottom, we won't have to use as much oil, etc. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. All right, so the next thing we want to do is decorate it. So now we've got it in our sturdy hole, our driftwood's all dry, and now we just have a bunch of shells that we have. Some of these I collected, this is from the Bahamas, a trip I took to the Bahamas. These are from Ocean Park, Ocean Park Washington. These are from North Carolina. These are from the Columbia River. Um, About we just the starfish. Have, uh, that's from Michael's. <laughs> <laughs> so we just have shells. So I really liked the Michael's shell. I think they're, I don't know, I think I like that. I think I just want simple. I think I even just like that. Yep. Um, you can <laughs> use fishing net too to decorate with. You rope. could use uh, nautical rope. You could just let your imagination go wild. But these are absolutely stunning. They make a great gift. Even if a home... Uh, um, housewarming? Not a housewarming. A uh, hostess gift. Oh. So if somebody invites you over for a barbecue when the corona is over and we can all go out for barbecues again um, and you get invited over, you can bring this. What a lovely um, hostess gift, right? It's a great gift. Yeah. And if you fill this up with citronella tiki oil to keep the bugs away too. Which, if you're like me, you need the tiki, you need the citronella. So that was really down and dirty, fast, really inexpensive. Um, you can get all the parts and pieces, put this whole set together for about a dollar fifty. So that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs>
stay tuned, subscribe for more easy DIYs. Thanks for watching. Thanks, bye.